So far in the course, we have learned about the Ionic CLI and just used it to create the Ionic app that we have been using since the beginning. We have learned about the various components in Ionic and we did all that in one single page. In real apps, there are multiple pages serving different purposes. In this lecture, we will learn about how to create new pages in Ionic using the Ionic CLI. You can see currently in the Pages folder that we just have one folder called Home, which contains three files that comprise of our homepage. Now, we will create another page called Office. There are no restrictions on how you name your pages, but Ionic automatically adds the word Page to the name of the class. I will start by opening a new terminal window in VS Code and I will type the command ionic space generate space page space office, then press enter. This command generates a new folder for our page and the name of the folder is called office, while the name of the class in the office.ts file will be office page. So now we have two pages, a page called home and another called office. Let's have a look at the contents of this new folder called office. We have an HTML file, an SCSS file, and a TS file, just as we have in the home folder. But we also have an additional file called office.module.ts. This file is used to implement lazy loading in Ionic apps, which we won't be really covering in this course. So we will delete this file for now, and we now need to make two small changes. The first change would be to remove the at Ionic page decorator in the office.ts file. We will do that right quick. We also do not need the import anymore, so we will remove the Ionic page from the list of imports as well. The second change we will need to make inside the app.module.ts file. We will have to import the office page class from the office TS file, and then pass it in to the declarations and the entry components array. Just we have with an import statement for the home class, we will add a similar one for the office class. Let's do that now. Next, we will pass the office class inside the declarations array and the entry components array. Every new page needs to be imported into the app.module.ts and passed to the declarations and entry components array. You can now save the file and close it. 